Right, um, Turbo and Boost, my little adventures with Turbo and Boost. I've uh, been drifting for about two, three months now. Um, uh, I went from having this little guy, which has the. Well, I built it up, imported it, built it from scratch. It's got a Hobby One Crit One, BR120, and um, has no boost. It's only small, doesn't even really need it to be honest, in my opinion. It's only short wheelbase, 220, 210. Um, motor, not fantastic, but does the job. Gyro, it's a, it's a P Star, it's like some cheap gyro, an Onisinki steering servo. Runs great, actually, runs really good. Um, started getting really into the hobby and wanted to make something <coughs> a bit longer because this short wheelbase is uh, not the best to be honest um, but it, it does work it was fun um, and against everyone's <laughs> everyone's advice I went for another short wheelbase just to be different and this is a three a two three nine wheelbase um, spent a little bit more on this one same frame as the other one on a Sinky steering servo on a Sinky gyro uh, OMG Epic 2 motor and a Toro 120 with boost and turbo now when I got this um, I bought it together with the program card and no matter considering I'm completely new I could not get turbo or boost to work every time I went to the track everyone's boost and turbo is going off I'm like I want that noise it's so cool and it wouldn't work wouldn't work nobody had a clue what was going on with it um, and then I found well let's try and get it into a PC and what I found was the program box was firmware was out of date so whatever I put into the ESC co-program wise did not work at all it would say that the values had changed but the values, values had not actually changed and it was still just the same so I updated it and now it's working and um, so I just do a little thought I'd do a little video because I could not find any help in terms of like videos because I, I prefer to learn through videos than just like text or back and forth um, so I thought I'd do a little video I don't do YouTube videos very often as you can see from my channel um, but if, if this helps anyone else when they have trouble um, then that's great so you have to go to the SkyRC um, website download their software um, and then what you need to do um, is Smaller, is you run the software what you can do is you just plug the program box in by to the US to a USB port with the wire connected and then you just double click it and it'll start to boot up and it'll say because it's not connected at all ESC connection fail and then while it says that this is the way I'm doing it. I'm not saying it's exactly the right do, way to do it. Spare me a second where I make a fumble around with this because I've put my ESC in a quite a. Alright, you plug it in. While it says, on, while it's, while it says ESC connection fail, click OK. And pop it pops up um, now you'll have all these tiles um, it'll prompt you to update the program box straight away just say yes and let it do it and then once you've done that you can go in here and change everything so I've watched a few videos I'm just gonna go to settings on mine um, 
and what you go you go to go to read ESC in the bottom left it says read or save the ESC and on the first settings tab <coughs> it has all the presettings um, it has the presets at the top so you've got like five presets that you can rename so um, I'm gonna go to one called zero that has basically all the boost and turbo is completely off um, and I'm just gonna kind of go through what I have them have them on if you're new um, what I suggest is drive it with everything off first and then increase them slowly but I know it's time consuming and I will give my 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 suggestion base settings at the end of this um, but this is on zero um, and if you go to I've put it on my pre-setting zero um, and then basically if I go into my timing but every time you make a change hit save to ESC so if I go to my timings because this is about boost and turbo primarily the settings you should know how to do that already um, it'll give you this sort of like chart and then on the left of this big box on the on the left of this big box it'll say boost timing and turbo timing so boost timing turbo timing basically is it's on zero timing and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it in while it's on my desk make sure it's elevated the wheels are clear not gonna hit anything turn it on turn my controller on it won't it won't run yeah at all while it's plugged in um, and this is what it's gonna sound like so what I'm going to do is save to ESC again I'm going to unplug this I'm going to turn it off turn it back on so this is throttle now, everything's on zero So that's with no boost, no turbo. Alright? I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it back in. I'm gonna read ESC and then I'm gonna go to settings again. I'm just gonna go to a a profile. I'm gonna call it. Uh, I'm gonna rename it and call it Help. As I'm trying to help other people. Uh, I'm gonna save to ESC, so it saved it. Okay. I'm gonna change these to break because this is a new, a new, um, a new thingy. Reverse speed. Everyone puts their reverse speed on like a hundred percent. Don't put it on a hundred percent. When you try and reverse to reverse at a hundred percent, you're just gonna wheel spin. And then when you're trying to get out of somebody's way, you won't be able to. So have on a low number like twenty-five. Um, Safety FC. Right, going back to timing again. Sorry. Right, your boost. That's like the motor. How hard, how hard the motor spins. So what I suggest you do is just increase it by five. And when you increase the boost, the turbo actually goes up as well because the turbo should be equal or higher than the boost timing. So it does it for you. So I'm going to put it on five. And I'm going to put this on 20. I'm going to see how that, how that sounds. So that. So on 20, I'm going to save to ESC. All right. We've got the, the boost, we've got the turbo activation on full throttle. So when the throttle's at full, it's for full throttle, the boost should activate. Save to ESC. Mm. 
turn it off. Untuck the program box. And then we'll see if it activates. Like full throttle, so. See? You can only hear it because it's quite a low boost. It's quite a low boost, quite a low turbo timing. I found that it only sounds like, you know, the competition guys when it starts to like 35. So now I'm going to change it. I'll plug it back in. Hit read ES, read ESC again. And I go to settings, go from help to my standard. So I hit standard, hit read ESC. Now it's going to help. Go hit standard, save to ESC. And then go to timings just to check. So this timing is on. 35 turbo and only 10 boost. Put the save ESC again. Turn it off. So this time the turbo is on 35. 35 on the Toro, not other ESCs, just on the Toro is when you start getting that, that nice pitch that's I consider to be safe so that's normal and then full full throttle there you go you can definitely hear it so from about 35 so I say I would say about 30 to 35 turbo timing is when you start getting like that really high revs um, I hope that makes sense for people um, this is um, a really great app to be honest um, I'm surprised there's less videos on how to use it um, because of a lot of the equipment for it like the Bluetooth adapter it's really expensive to get hold of um, but you can just plug this into a computer using a USB and um, you can do all the bits you can do great really great really really great things on it another thing I'll show you before uh, I end this video if I plug this back in um, so read ESC And if you go to monitor, uh, make sure the wheels are clear. You can actually test the motor timing. So, um, like on the bell, I don't know. I don't know how in depth you are. You know, on the bell, depending on your, on your, um, on your setup. See if I grab this. My bell timing it says it says thirty. When I do a test, which it will do a test now. It says it's doing, it's like 34 degrees. So when I go back to my timing, it actually adds about four degrees difference which I think is actually great so if you do that and then hit save like now the ESC knows that the timing on the actual bell is 45 degrees I've watched a few videos where people they turn the turbo timing up to 60 and, and then adjust different things like I really wouldn't suggest that um, I'd keep it as stock as possible and just make slight increases but it's difficult to do because unless you're at the track, you know, and you've got the tire taking your body off, plugging in the box, increasing it five, and then seeing the differences, it's very time consuming. So for, for my personal 
suggestion, like, and I'm relatively new, I know people have been doing it for years, um, like, turbo timing on this ESC, which is the Toro, I'd keep the turbo timing from, like, you're going to start hearing it at around 25 to 35 timing, um, and it, that depends on your gearing as well, assuming, and how much stress that you put on it, so, Flat, start from like 20 and then increase it by 5 degrees every time until you get the desired effect you want um, like I said I hope this helps um, I might get slated for it and I'm open to it to be honest like I said I'm relatively new but there's no real videos out there i found for setting up boosts and turbos um, I don't have the greatest equipment just to show you guys how it works but this is just what I found, and the parameters that are safe for me, being a newbie. Um, um, so hopefully this video will help other people. Um, if you want to write in the comments what you found or what worked for you. Um, a lot of ESCs that are different have different timings. Like it seems to it's out of sixty for um, this Toro, um, um, but I know that. Um, some of like the hobby wing ones are out of a hundred um, some are out of 80 so it's basically you have to kind of do a bit of maths to get the percentages um, I would say no more than like um, 35 to 40% maximum on your turbo timing um, and you shouldn't really be holding it down for more than like a couple of seconds anyway um, in my opinion, like I said, I'm no expert, um, I'm not professional, I'm just newbie and I'm just like, I like to use YouTube as a tool to find things, find things out, um, and I just found that like, YouTube didn't have anything for me, so I was like, really confused, that the tube, YouTube didn't have anything for the first time, um, anything that I thought was safe, so I thought I'd just do a little, well, a 20 minute video now, on my crappy little setup of a computer, so anyway, um, I hope that helps. Um, 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 get at me if you have any questions. Um, I'll reply as soon as I can. Um, and I hope that helps someone else because I was stuck. Okay. Goodbye.